Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new exciting project here which is the cross stitch cars. Now I bought this quite a uh, while back um, and originally I was supposed to be doing the Christmas ones but again we ran out of time and obviously if it's a Christmassy thing or a special occasion I won't work on that again until the next obviously December but this is going to be all through until we're finished on this one so this comes from the works it's a pound um, obviously you get all your little threads in there quite some vibrant colours there by the looks of it lovely green line um, when I bought these some of the needles have had uh, it doesn't look like a proper needle, so I got myself some of these, which are 30 assorted needles, which we probably didn't need, but um, they may come in handy. Uh, you know, you never know when you'll lose a needle and stuff. So we'll get into this, um, like so, and we'll see what we've got in here, as you can see. So this looks really good. Now, Crafting with Kay has actually told me a little trick um to do with the threads which i'll show when we get around to doing that but this is a gorgeous card this is light blue as you can see this is our color chart thing so as you can see we've got x symbols we've got circles love hearts across and what looks to be an equal sign we've got colors of red yellow blue white and green and obviously the number of lengths is one and then it just goes uh, sort the threads into different colours using the key to help you. Each thread comes in six strands and then sew all the cross stitches first using two strands of the six strand thread. You may also find the colour picture helpful. Okay, so that's the little thing that we need. We've got a lovely envelope here. So as you can see, I thought I saw something in there. <laughs> so we've got the lovely envelope and obviously the card here as well. So this is the... Uh, the card as you can see will fold out and we've also got our color sheet as well so in here what i want to do first things first is we'll glue this in place if we can um the reason i say if we can is because this tacky wacky stuff is uh yeah i think that's okay yeah i think that's fine sometimes it clogs up a bit so uh Always have to be a little bit careful, but I think what we'll do is on the back of here, we'll uh, see what we can do there, but we will just spread that along there. So this, um, I'm just going to cut this nozzle a bit because it's a little bit too, it's too thin, as you can see. It needs to be a little bit thicker for that to come out. So as you, And as you can see, it comes out a lot better now. So what I'll do is I'm just going to put some slots like that. Yeah, that's much better that. As you can see, it was really struggling before. So we'll do that and then I'll just put some like that. Like that. And like that. This is really lovely glue. It comes in a, um, a thingamajig. Uh, it's like a pound bottle, so it's really lovely glue. And then obviously we can put that there. Like so. Like that. Whoops. And then we'll put that all like that. Lovely. And then obviously we know that this part here is going to feed to the outside of here. So I'm not going to put it on that side. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it around the edge here. But you don't need a lot. Just uh, just really. Or you could tack it. If you want tack it is where you put a blob in each corner. Um, but I like to. I've had this glue for a while now. So I like to use it up as best as I can. And then as you can see, we can then fold that over there, like so. And then that will go into there, like that. I'm just going to use a cotton wool bud to take away some excess glue. I've done it again, and I? Who spots the mistake? <laughs> I forgot to put the thing in. The cross stitch, I always forget the cross stitch has to go in first, doesn't it? Duh. Um, oh, what an idiot. Never mind. We can cut that off. That's no problem. We can just splodge this off a bit. So we'll just take the glue off. Why do I always seem to think it has to go on first? I don't know why I keep thinking that. <laughs> That's twice I've done that now. I've done that to the Christmas one, didn't I? <laughs> 
but yeah I mean this will dry clear anyway so I'm not really fussed about the edge part but obviously the idea is is as I said this this will eventually go into here and then obviously seal it over the top there so we'll put that to one side for that to glue we need to ensure that this part here doesn't glue um made a right cock up of, cock up of this and i but obviously we need to ensure that that will go like that what i will do is so that it doesn't stick it i'll just put a cocktail stick there well actually i can keep it like that but what you can do is put that there to stop it from sticking um but that will glue overnight so we'll leave that for however long it will take to glue and put the lid back on of here it comes with a really fancy lid as well it's really cheap it's like one pound something so that's really good and then obviously in here as you can see we've got our threads so this is our needle here it's got a lovely loophole there you can see it's quite a big eye hoop there and uh, i think they've done a bright color so you know that it's the needle there and then what i'd like to do is separate the colors if we can so we'll take all this out like so and uh oh, it makes me think of a stick of rock them sort of colors oh do you know what the tradition is every time you go to the beach you're supposed to get a stick of rock so uh yeah so we'll get the green now obviously you don't use all of this because there's various strands in here as you can see at the top okay so there's various little strands in here so we've got the green what you can do is you can just like loop it like that if you wanted to so we've got the green and then we'll we won't need that part yet so we'll put that over to one side we've then got what looks to be a blue here that's really good so this is a really lovely color when i'm doing this it makes me think of that show uh, rainbow and unfortunately jeffrey died um there used to be a hippo uh, a bear, George was the hippo, Bungle was the bear, and then Zippy was... No, I don't think anyone really knows what Zippy was. I mean, obviously a zip. I mean, he can't have been a zebra. He was yellow with, like, a zipped mouth. If anyone knows from that long ago, some uh, the younger generation probably don't know what I'm, a clue what I'm talking about, but it's basically a kid's show called uh, Rainbow, and it used to go... Up above the streets and houses, rainbow flying high. Everyone can see it shining over the sky. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. Um, this is a lovely vibrant colour. I like this. Oh yeah, that's sexy. That is really lovely. Beautiful, really vibrant. Oh, it's not very often I get a yellow like that, but that's our yellow. So obviously, as you can see, we've now separated all the colours into their lovely little segments. And then I think from the next session, we'll start to separate the strands and things like that. So I hope you like that video. As I said, this is what we're going to be making. You can get these in the works if they're still doing them. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to uh, get into cross-stitching. I've never done it before. So uh Really, really excited to get my teeth gripped into this. But I hope you like that video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos that I do. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.